Hi, my name is Kay Van Sherney and I head the managed service business at Fusion, where we help organizations improve their capabilities for driving digital transformation programs. Over the past few years, we've been working really hard to come up with a set of innovations for our customers to drive on their service management, service operations. We truly believe that these capabilities are unique across the industry. And the purpose of these video recordings is to showcase some of these capabilities. But first, and for today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about the three key principles behind these innovations, what we refer to as a rule of three. As we work out our way through this COVID pandemic, what we're saying is that organizations are continuing to invest in IT. Part of that is driven by the fact that they have identified niche spaces where they can compete aggressively and gain market share. But at the same time, they're seeing the critical need to support their digital transformation programs. But the key question is, where did you start from? What do you focus on? Given the level of noise that's going on in organizations, what are the priorities to work with? So let's say you and I are on the board of an IT organization. Let's say it's a mid to large enterprise. And the task at hand is to identify areas where we can invest heavily so that it drives directly the business and supports the business initiatives. What do we focus on? What do we do? To put some background around this scenario, we know that all organizations have four things that they worry about. Increasing revenues, that could be through customer acquisitions, it could be through partnerships, provision of new products and services, or joint ventures. It could be a combination of all of this. They have to do that whilst at the same time managing and maintaining the cost, optimizing the cost of the IT. And of course, those two things have to be done while at the same time managing and juggling the customers. And let's not forget the crucial element, which is all about regulation and compliance and the ability to provide compliance and traceability and auditability to organizations. So back in our scenario, we have to make a decision as to how to invest the funding but at the same time, we have this dilemma of dealing with all of this stuff that's going on. Where do we focus on? And how do we achieve the objectives that we have set for ourselves? That's where the rule of three comes in. Rule number one, data must lead the way. Given this level of noise, we have to start with some facts that provide the baseline for our decision-making process. And what better way to do that than by using the latest AI capabilities, using natural language processing, machine learning algorithms that focus on service management, provide insight as to the customer's interaction with us and their journey and what it is that they're looking for and what are the things that turn them off. This means we look into all the data, any data, structured and unstructured. And we can do this really quickly helping us to take the gut feel and guessing out of the equation. This approach provides us with a prioritized list of activities such as defining a more robust contact strategy, providing them with a more relevant set of service offerings, and improving the time to fulfill their request through automation. Time for rule number two, identifying the critical capabilities that are required to support the initiatives is a fundamental building block. Without these critical capabilities, those initiatives would fail. And that's where differentiated technologies, best of breed technologies come into play. They are the things that actually accelerate the delivery of those outcomes. And rule number three, it follows on from number two, which is focusing on the business outcomes. We have seen many IT projects over the years that have failed because of this obtuse view of products and features and ignoring the consumers and the business outcomes that are required from the investment that's being put into these programs. Now that's easier said than done. These business outcomes typically require a transformative program of people, process and technology combined together to deliver those kind of outcomes. And most organizations will not have those capabilities. And even the ones that do can't achieve it fast enough. So find a partner that is focused on business outcomes and it is willing to take on some of the risk to help accelerate the delivery of those business outcomes. The capabilities that the partner is providing has to include IP, 
has to include content, has to include different technologies, and has to include certain capabilities that truly accelerate the delivery of these outcomes and the benchmarking of the outcomes. So when you get to the end of the journey or certain milestones in the journey, you can look back and go, I've done this, has that actually helped me? And am I still on track? In the next set of videos, we will be expanding on some of these themes. In the meantime, click on the Fusion icon below to subscribe. Go on, go on, press it. If you watched the video this long, you might as well press the button.